Hi, I'm Brian from Atomic Motor, and I'm here to do a review of the Forma Terra Evo Low Boots. The Forma Terra Evo Low is a spin off of the excellent Forma Terra Evo, which I have right here. Uh, we sell quite a few of these. It's a I'm kind of mid, mid high adventure touring boot with very rugged construction and uh, great materials. Uh, they had this boot out for a while and they decided to come out with a low version to, uh, uh, to accommodate some of the riders that are not spending quite as much time on the dirt, maybe just a little bit, and want to be able to walk around and have a little bit more convenience when they're off the bike. So that's where the, uh, that's the genesis of the, the Terra Evo Low. Let me talk about the basics of this boot. Now it retails for $289 as of the filming of this video. Comes in this one color brown. It's a really nice kind of oil tan suede looking leather. Uh, it's really nice and thick, great quality. And um, it has two buckles. Uh, it has a Forma Drytex waterproof membrane inside. They have a one year warranty on it and Forma is great for after sale support if you have an issue that one of the better vendors that we have to deal with. Uh, the Terra Evo has a strut type of system to give ankle support and protection. It's made of injection molded plastic. It's two pieces here and it kind of pivots a little bit. What it really does though is it gives you lateral support this way. Now it's easier for me to move it without a leg in but it does give quite a bit of support to the ankle area and does a pretty darn good job of that. Uh, the sole is one of the nicer characteristics of this boot. It is a welt sole stitched on, uh, very well designed, nice and rugged, a good wide contact patch. If you're walking on e uneven ground, rocks, you're checking out a river or something like that where it's slippery and wet, this has good grip and good support. And then um, it has a little bit of a heel to it, but like all motorcycle boots should, that heel is set back a little bit farther from where it should be. Why? Because that allows you on the left boot to slide your foot farther forward so you can tip it down farther and get it under the shift lever. That's an important characteristic. Boots that have a big heel, especially when that heel step is farther forward, they're harder to shift in. It has a reasonable amount of rigidity in the midsole. Incidentally, the previous Terra Evo was very firm in the midsole. They softened this up a little bit, put more support in the ankle via the strut and then gave it a little bit more flex in the forefoot so it has a more natural walking motion. Now, the boot's nicely padded through the inside uh, and that brings me to the important question that many people want to know about every boot we sell. How do they fit? The Terry Evo fits wide. It's built on Forma's wide last. Forma in general has a somewhat wide fit to their models but this one is actually built on a specific last that has a little bit more width to it and you can see that. I hold that sucker up and you can see it. Now that we've talked about fit, we also have to talk about sizing, form of sizing specifically. I want you to note that the way that we do our size conversion here at Atomic Moto is different than the way that Forma does their size conversion. Ours is more consistent with footwear globally, other brands, every other piece of footwear you have in your closet. As bizarre as that sounds, we feel like ours is correct. And what it means is this. Uh, Forma equates one EU size to one US size. We don't do that. Uh, we actually recognize that the increment, the grade from one EU size to the next is about seven tenths of a US size and, and um, we really focus on the European sizing of it anyway. So we've got a sizing chart on this boot. If you want to check that out, give us a call if you have any questions about it. So who is this for? Well, if you are uh, riding a, a big adventure bike and uh, doing just very light graded gravel roads, uh, they're great for you. If you are um, uh, commuting around and, and uh, maybe doing a little bit of photography and you're getting off the bike to do some walking, these are, these are great. They have a really nice natural walking motion and a lot of support and grip in the sole. Not so much weight and bulk up around the top that they're, they're hard to, um, to work on. Uh, they have a decent amount of ankle support. If you're going to be spending a lot of time off road, we like to say and don't want to miss the opportunity to say, wear as much boot as you're willing to tolerate. But in a lot of cases, that's not practical. If you know that going in, then of course, you know, choose, you've chosen appropriately. Um, so these are great for also guys on dual sport bikes that are just running errands or doing light commuting or things like that. They're pretty easy to get on and off. And again, like I said, they'll fit under a casual pan. Uh, we love everything about the company, their quality of construction, the the fit of this, this is a, a total winner product. We really dig it and we think that you should check it out. 
And with that, it's time for me to wrap this video up. We are Atomic Moto, dub, 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 atomic motocom home of the bombers. We are mission focused on finding great product in a sea of stuff out there, identifying the good ones and uh, talking about them, putting it on our website, talking about them to you, matching them up to you, your bike and your type of riding, because that is a really important part of the equation. You know, not just selling you whatever, but getting you something that you actually uh, need and that will work for you. And um, so you get the most out of your dollar. Uh, we have a great YouTube channel. We would love it if you subscribed to that YouTube channel. We'd love it if you liked this video and even more so if you did that plus sent it to some of the other friends that are shopping for boots and told them about us because we think we kick ass. On that note, uh, of maybe perhaps overconfidence, I'm going to wrap this up and say we hope to see you as always out on your bike.